What's going on, everybody? My name is Grayson the Ghost. Yes, that's my name now. I've changed it so much. I have to stop doing that. Anyways, um, I, um, I'm back here for a movie review. And I haven't done, um, a movie review in a long time. I don't know why. I just haven't. Um, but I'm doing it now. And I'm doing it on a new movie. Um, this movie is called Host. It's a Shudder exclusive, not sponsored by Shudder. I wish I was. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, but this movie is Shutter exclusive. It's under an hour long, so that's cool. And, um, it was a movie that was, for me, particularly hard to get through. And I mean that seriously. So, um, if you don't know me, I, um, I have an anxiety disorder. I think I haven't been diagnosed, but I have all the symptoms and I get it rather frequently. But anyways, I get frequent anxiety. Um. And, like, sometimes it's triggered, sometimes it, it just happens randomly. Most of the time it happens randomly. <laughs> but, Amy triggered. And this movie, for some reason, triggered that anxiety. <laughs> it wasn't heavy, like it is most of the time. But it definitely triggered it. And uh, towards the end, especially, I literally had to, like, pause it and take just, like, a five-minute break. I couldn't, like, towards, like, the very end, I couldn't get five minutes without having to pause it. So this movie, I, I got through it. I got through it. But it was particularly hard for me to get there for some reason. <clears throat> but anyway, um, the movie itself, very good. It's a very good movie, and it's highly, um, it's highly atmospheric. It's high, it, the tension is perfect. Um, it's, it's like, and it takes, pl it's, it takes place during modern times, the COVID-19 times. Can I say that on YouTube? Can you say that now? I know that, for like, for a bit, like, you couldn't say it. I don't know if you still can now. Um, but, um, it's basically like that ABC show. Is it ABC? I think so. ABC has that love in the time of Corona thing where all the actors film the scenes inside their homes. It's basically like that, but for a horror movie. It's found footage. It's kind of like Unfriended. It is like Unfriended, actually. It's like the same, um, setup. Like, the friends, um, doing a Zoom meeting. Um, and, um... And yeah, so it's like that, and it's very well acted. I don't, it's, it, it is well acted, because everything seems generally natural. A lot of the times in a found footage movie, um, it can seem unnatural, and that can be a bit cringy, you know, but for this one, I, I, I genuinely, you know, I, I genuinely think the actors did um, a good job, a really good job. Um, everything felt natural, like some stuff, it kind of like looped, um, like, some stuff kind of, like, kept going on, like, like how it would be in real life, but it wouldn't act like that in a movie, um, and that was very, made it realistic. I watched it on my, on my living room TV, but I'd say the ultimate way to see this movie is with headphones on, like, a PC or a laptop. That's the best way to experience this movie. I'm getting a new one, um, in about a month, and I'm gonna rewatch it. Um, on my laptop just because it's it's like like you see a mouse go through the screen if you've seen unfriended you know what I'm talking about um, but yes this movie really good really good but also very anxiety provoking um, so I mean yeah that's basically the review you should check it out because it's a very good movie um, yeah, like, towards the end, I had, like, the mute button in hand and I would, like, keep, like, pressing it and unpressing it and stuff <laughs> um, but yeah Go watch this movie. I'm not sponsored by Shudder, but I should be. I should be. <laughs> and, um, yeah. See you guys later.